What's going on everyone? It's Austin Awesome here and in this video we're continuing the Uncharted So Far series that I started the other day. In this episode we are covering Uncharted 2 Among Thieves released in 2009 um, for the PlayStation 3 again obviously. I play place to PlayStation 3 exclusive and um, to get this right off the bat this Uncharted 2 is without a doubt my favorite Uncharted so far in the series. Um, it, this is the one Uncharted game that just about got everything right. You got the gunplay right, it got the, um, the platforming right, the puzzles got that right. Um, the story was very well paced and very in a very immersive story. The characters were fantastic. Some great new characters like uh, obviously um, uh, Nate and uh, Elena are back. Uh, Sully is in the game for like one level at the beginning, but then he then he's he disappears throughout the rest of the game at the beginning. At the beginning, he's like in one level at the beginning. For the most part, it's just uh, Nate, uh, Elena, and this new and this new girl, Chloe, who's also a great character, also returned in Uncharted 3 later. Um, she's kind of Nate's... They, they both her and Elena kind of act as like Nate's love interests. Um, uh, a lot of the set pieces in this game are really cool. Um, uh, as far as the weapons go, uh, something that Uncharted 2 kind of started with the Uncharted series is that with for uh, for like assault rifle or long guns in this game, like assault rifles and things like that, ammo is much easier to find. Ammo is much easier to stockpile than it was in un in, in the first Uncharted. Uh, you guys may remember yesterday in the uh, I mean uh, in Drake's Fortune, uh, you. With long guns, you couldn't really stockpile ammunition. Um, with long guns, um, you know, you generally had to use like a mag or two at a time. That was generally the most I found myself with in, in Uncharted One. Um, but in Uncharted Two, here in Among Thieves, um, there, um, you know, you can actually like, stockpile your ammunition for your long guns. You can carry quite a bit. Of, you'll and you'll find more ammunition for long guns. Um, there's a lot of this, a lot of lo this game also has a little bit more, more variety in locations. Um, there's some jungle environments like in the first game. There's also some urban environments like in Nepal, which is what you're seeing here. There's also some, some snowy, um, environments in like the mountains. Um, I'm not sure whether it's the Alps or something. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what mountain range it is, but, uh, there's, um, some mountain range somewhere in Nepal. I don't know too much about the geography of Nepal, so, um, um, in this, so in this game, to kind of get back to, like, the story thing, uh, this time Nate is looking for, uh, Shambhala, um, a big, one of the important key pieces in this game is, like, this dagger thing, this ancient Tibetan, uh, ritual dagger thing that you can use to, like, unlock this temple in Nepal and, you know, it's like this big. It's, like, it's basically, it's basically the key to Shambhala, or as a lot of it's more commonly referred to as Shangri-La. Um, later in the game, you also encounter these uh, the supernatural element in, in Uncharted 2. Because every in every Uncharted game, there's this, there's a, a bit of a supernatural element to it. Um, later in the game, you encounter these like big mutant mutant. The Yeti things once you get into Shangri La. Um, there's like these mutant Yeti things. I'm not exactly sure what to call them, but they're big fucking Yeti things. Uh, you know, they're really big and they carry like these crossbow things. Um, they, they carry like these crossbows and they're like super fucking hard to take down. Uh, those things, you can like dump an entire magazine. Like an M4 or AK-47 into their asses, and they'll and they'll, and they'll, just, and they'll just walk. And they'll basically and they'll basically just just wipe it off like it's not. They'll basically wipe it off like it's nothing. Uh, so that uh, can be pretty annoying. Though you don't encounter them until later in the game. Uh, uh, this also introduced one of my favorite guns in. Um, in Uncharted 2, which you, which you just saw, is the uh, the FAL, 
Oh, that guy is awesome, by the way. Just kind of wanted to bring that up. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking like these. I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking like completely out of order thing. Probably should have said that at the beginning of this video that this isn't going to be in any particular order. This is just, I'm just going to talk about what's, what comes to mind. Um, in the Drake's Fortune video, um, the other day, I mentioned that Uncharted has n has never had. A, uh, a good history with like very memorable villains. Uncharted 2 has two of the most, two of the best villains in Uncharted, in the Uncharted series in my opinion. And those villains are Zoran Lazarevich and Harry Flynn. Zoran Lazarevich is like this, uh, he's this uh, Russian warlord. He's like, he's like, he's scarred and um, he, he's, he's basically, um, he's a pretty cliche, he's, he's a pretty cliche, but he's a very polished cliche, he has a lot of, um, he has a lot of, a lot of pretty entertaining interactions with, uh, with, with Nate, with Nate, and, um, he, he, out of all the villains in the Uncharted series, he is absolutely the most threatening, he is the most, probably the most viable threat in, like, probably most of the Uncharted games. Like this dude is, he doesn't pony punches. He's all business, um, you know, as villains should be in these kind of games, in in action stories and in, 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 in action games. Uh, the other memorable villain, um, in my opinion, is Harry Flynn. Now, the Harry Flynn is the guy who, when the game starts off, he's uh, he's actually helping Nate. Um, uh, steal this like lamp thing from a Turkish museum uh, but then obviously he betrays him and it he um, uh, Harry betrays Nate and uh, Nate uh, gets sent off to jail for three months uh, at the beginning at the beginning of the game because uh, Flynn basically betrays him and gets him sent to jail you know, yeah, he basically he basically sells him out basically what he does and then he has a lot of really entertaining uh back and forth with nathan especially like there's this one section later in the game where uh you and flynn are basically lazarevich is basically forcing uh nate and flynn to work together to like open this bridge or something or to connect these things to make a bridge um this is a really platforming heavy section and um there's a lot of really uh, fun back and forth between uh, Nate and Flynn, and, and, and it's just really well done. And Flynn is a great character. Um, and if Flynn, Flynn is a great character. That's really that's really all I'm, all I'm really going to say. Uh, as far as graphics go, uh, have a, how have I not touched on the graphics yet? These graphics um, are definitely a lot better than Uncharted One. Um, I still do think Uncharted Three is better in terms of graphics, but for like you know for like 2009, this is an amazing looking game um, this is an absolutely amazing looking game for a 2009 game and uh, you know Uncharted has always had great graphics I'm not gonna lie Uncharted has always had great graphics so so there's really no surprises here uh, what else is there to talk about uh, this game definitely has a lot more balance in terms of uh, in terms of uh, you know balancing out the three main aspects of the Uncharted series in terms of gameplay, you know, puzzles, action, and platforming. Um, it's definitely a lot better balanced out than it was in the first game. Um, you know, there's, um, you know, you're not, you're not, you don't feel like you're stuck doing one thing for too long. Like, you, like, like, you never feel like you're in, um, you know, action for too long, or you never feel like you're in, in a platforming section for too long, or you never feel like you're in a puzzle section for too long. It's, it's very balanced out. It's balanced out. Each chapter really has, uh, really has a bit of everything. Um, some some chapters put more emphasis on one, a uh, set one type of gameplay on one area of gameplay, like one. Um, might put more emphasis, might put a lot of emphasis on action, or one might put a lot of emphasis on puzzle solving, or one might put a lot of emphasis on platforming, but there's, but even if that, there's still, but, but the other, if one is shining, there's still, if one element of gameplay, or one area, one, I guess, area of gameplay is shining, then, um, 
but but the other two are not like completely absent. They're still very much very much there. They're still on display. It's just so one section might just put more emphasis on one area than another. Um, one quick thing before I end this video, this train sequence right here. There's a couple of these sections where like the environment is moving around you, and it, it's just so much fun. I really like this train section. This is one of the best levels in the Uncharted series, in my opinion. Um, and then, yeah, it's pretty much all I have to talk about as far as this video. As far as this video goes, um, this train section, man, this train section is awesome. Uh, it's, it's got, it's got, it's makes the best of both platforming and action. Um, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is actually pretty good in this game too, even though in my opinion Uncharted 3 has the best hand-to-hand -hand combat system in the Uncharted series in my opinion. Uh, but the Uncharted 2 has pretty good melee combat as well. And um, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, now that I think of it, because this video is almost over. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so please... So please put in the comment section uh, what you guys think of Uncharted 2. Uh, I personally think it is. I personally think it is the best game in the Uncharted series. I think Naughty Dog is. I think this is probably Naughty Dog's best game. Um, it's probably ever. And before any, before any of you says The Last of Us is Uncharted is Naughty Dog's best game ever, I actually have not played The Last of Us. So, see, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one give this game the award of best Naughty Dog game ever. Uh, Anyways, guys, so I'm going to see you in the video here. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm signing out.